Tukisema mara mbili tunasema Kenya kwanza. Na tukisema Kenya kwanza tunasema kazi ni ka. Tukisema kazi ni kazi tunasema pesa fukoni. Twende kazi pas Arambe. Arambe. Kenya kwanza. Kenya kwanza. Kazi ni kazi pesa fukoni. Basi nataka kusema ya kwamba naitwa Dr. Twitek MP Mogoto Constituency na nataka kusema ya kwamba tunataka kusema tunaunga mkono His Excellency Dr. William Ruto Musala Mudabati na weta ama nini Bas tuseme kwanza ujumi kwanza sivyo Ujumi nini Mabe asante sana <coughs> Thank you. Arambe. Sema vizuri UDA. Arambe. UDA sema Kenya kwanza UDA. UDA. Mnanijua mimi naomba kura ya mheshimiwa William Somoe. Wangapi watapeana hiyo kura na kupatia yeye kuwa rais ya nchi ya Kenya? Basi Kongo inayo Qatar ngaleti. Aya, aya, aya. Na, nataka kuita mwenzangu kutoka Kalasinga. Asante sana. Okay, DJ, DJ. DJ. Marafiki zangu wa mjambo. Wale mnapea William Ruto kura beba mkono tuone. Mimi niko na swali moja. Vijana vinyi niko na swali moja. Mimi sasa hivi nikienda hapa sokoni nichukue lodging mbili ninunue plangeti mbili nitafute wasichana wa rembo wawili niweke kila mmoja kwa kitanda na niite hii mudu ya kitanda wili niweke kitanda moja niite wili ya mrudo niweke kitanda kingine nani anajingiza plangeti nani anajingiza plangeti huyo mudu ya kitanda wili Anataka apewe msichana ili wakuja mkimfanyia kazi. Na kitu ya mwisho wewe rafiki yako nataka nikupatie leo. Mheshimiwa Kidion Moi. Wewe ndio rafiki yako lakini kama wewe uwezi kuja kuunga hapa mkono mambo yako kuisha. Mambo yako kuisha. 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 Asante sana Jemacha. Chamatia Wote akabanda damu jambo Baringa mnasema je William Ruto wapi Eta wapi Kenya kwanza wapi mimi nimesema kama msichana wa Baringo nitasimama na ukweli na kusema watu wa Baringo waishi kwa amani. Leo nasema asante kwa William Ruto. Karibuni Kabarnet. Kabarnet wanasema ni ndani ndani ndani. Asa teni. Haya 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 rafu. Mwanzangu bwana Njoro. Kabaraneto iye Kabaraneto iye Harambe Harambe Watu wa Mbaringo Naona mumeamua Naona mumeamua Naona mumeamua Rais wetu wa Kenya ni nani? Rais wetu wa tano wa Kenya ni nani? Wata wasikie vizuri ni nani? Sasa tusikizane watu wa Baringo. Si mnanijua? Mimi naitwa Dede Nyoro. Kutoka kule Moranga. Na mnajua Moranga ni wapi? Ni kule Mount Kenya region. Kule Moranga. Na Mount Kenya yote 
ambazo ni kaunti kumi kutoka Moranga kwenda Kiambu kwenda Nyeri kwenda Kerenyaga kwenda Embu kwenda Meru Tharakanithi Laikipia Nyandarwa Nakuru Nairobi hata sisi tumeamua na tumeamua rais wetu wa Kenya watano ni yule anajua masida za mkenya wa kawaida na tumekagua kwetu na tukakagua watu wote na tukaona yule mtu wa kongangari yule yako na agenda ni William Samoei Ruto na mimi nataka kueleza wenzetu as as the hustle nation of Kenya we have no problem with anyone we are only concerned with one Kenya a Kenya that is united and a Kenya ambayo iko na viongozi ambao wanaangalia maslahi ya mkenya wa kawaida na ndio maana mnaona uchaguzi hii ya August kuna milengo pili kuna mlengo unasukumwa na ile maneno inajiita deep state na wale wengine wanajihisi wanajiita system na wale wandosi mapo wenyenye na kuna the other side ambayo ni mtu abaye ako na sera za kuinua mahasala ya kuinua wakulima wa Kenya wanabiashara wa Kenya ndio pia wao wapate kitu kwa mvuko na huo mlengo na huo mlengo na huo mlengo ni huu wetu wa Kenya kwanza huu wa Kenya kwanza tukiogozwa na William Ruto tukiogozwa na nani tukiogozwa na nani na ya mwisho sisi katika mlima Kenya na Kenya yote tunachagua track record kwa sababu kutagua kiongozi tunatagua mtendakazi William Ruto amekuwa waziri wa kilimo fertilizer ilikuwa chini bei ya mahindi ilikuwa juu amekuwa minister wa higher education na akapeleka higher education vizuri wakati huo help ilikuwa inatoka wakati unastahili amekuwa deputy president na fast tamu yake na rais wetu ndio jubili walifanya kazi hii ya pili ya hardship hakuna kazi ni kulala na kuiba pesa za umma tumeamua tumeamua wacha nione kura ya hasra kura ya hasra kura ya hasra kura ya hasra asante sana di joro kura ya waruta iko wapi weka mkono juu kura ya ruto Wangapo anasema Ruto State House. Wangapo anasema Ruto ndio fifth president of Kenya. Wangapo wameamua? Wangapo wameamua? Ruto ni wapi? Ruto ni wapi? Baringo tunasema nini? Tunasema nini? Ruto wapi? Asanteni. Aya aya. Oscar Sudi Tabarnade Ebu salam ya Barnet salam ya ne Ebu salam ya ne wane Barnet Awa ni watu ama ni shafu Awa ni watu Eh hey, Nilisikia jana Juliet Mohamed akisema heti ati naibu rais afanye kazi yake Nataka nimwambie Juliet Mohamed aenda ulise baba yake ule msewa msewa kitenda wili waliongea nini na uhuru ili wakanyanganya deputy president kazi yake na tunataka tuwaambie na msikie vizuri wa Kenya sio wajinga tumeona mkizunguka na ule jamaa wa dawa wa Mombasa tunataka tuwaambie mwaka huu mwaka huu wewe jo wewe junet na baba yenu he kila mtu ataujukua mzigo wake mwenyewe na kila mtu atatoa habari zake mwenyewe mbele za Mungu siku hiyo inakuja nataka niwaambie ya mwisho we tangu la siyako hapa ma DVD yako hapa Sumuliona ule msewa wenye ororo mingi kwa shiko kama yaumbwa. Yeah. Mlimuona juzi. Yeah. 
akisema ati mama tangu lazijua alifanya e, wa, 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 wa mdamadi alifanya nini na akasema sijui mama deputy president alifanya nini mimi nawauliza mliona siku ile niliongea tu kidogo nikasema huyu mama na yule mama wanafanana na mama yangu wakatumanishia polisi miangapi polisi miangapi na mimi ni mtu mdogo wageniambia tu assistant chief enda tafuta sudi alafu assistant chief aniambia wewe sudi kuja kwa police station nikifika police station walete pikipiki ya polisi mimi naruka hapo nyuma wananipeleka walete polisi miangapi tunataka tuwaambie mmetumia polisi ya wakenya vibaya mmeshika watu kwa sababu ya mapenzi yenye mnataka mambo yenu mwisho yenu imefika mwaka huu mwisho yao imefanya nini Arambe Hapana tunasema Kenya kwanza. Arambe Kenya kwanza. Nikisema Kenya kwanza mnasema kazi ni kazi. Kenya kwanza. Kazi ni kazi. Kazi ni kazi pesa mfukoni. Mungu awabariki sana. Aya aya Jameson goal. Arambe Arambe Kenya kwanza. Nataka tuonyeshe upendo kwa rais wetu wa tano ambaye ni William Samoei Ruto kwa ile nyimbo yetu ya Baringo Neoshende katika Yesu Bwana Baringo Kweli ni ushindi katika Yesu Bwana Kenya Kweli ni umoja katika Yesu Bwana. Mutabati. Kweli ni umoja katika Yesu Bwana. Kasha kwa. ni umoja katika Yesu Bwana. Weta Asante sana bwana Jepson Gol. Susan Kiga. Eh? Baringo amjambo. Harambe. Kenya kwanza Na pesa mfukoni Kenya kwanza. Haya. Chemolel amefika kutoka Nakuru. Na nimekuja hapa kuhakikisha nyinyi watu wa Baringo tuko safari moja. Lakini sijui nani aliniambia nyinyi hupangwa. Nyinyi hupangwa. Nyinyi hupangwa. Kwa hivyo round hii mnashikilia Kenya kwanza. Nataka niwaambie nikiwa na iba wenyu hapa Nakuru County. Sisi tulisema liwe liwalo. Tuko nyuma ya Deputy President William Ruto na Kenya kwanza. Sinione kama Baringo tuko hapo pamoja. Na pia tukasema walikuja huko kwetu Nakuru County back in 2013. Afraha Stadium stadium kama hii. Na tukasema ya Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta ni kumi na ya William Ruto ni kumi Tulisema ya Ruto ni ngapi? Tunashikilia hapo ama mumewachilia? Mumeshikilia? Na mimi nataka tu niambie mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta. Tafadhali Uhuru tunakupenda. Lakini tafadhali wacha hii maneno ya kujaribu kupanga Kenya post your ten years. Nasema tafadhali uhuru uende retire peacefully uwache wanaume wakutane kwa kiwanja wangengane. Tafadhali uhuru utajipaka matope ukiendelea kushika yule jamaa wa ODM. Kwa sababu huyo jamaa wa ODM na wahakikishia hawezi pata hiyo kiti. Raundi hii anaenda one way wapi? Anaenda one way wapi? Kwa hivyo 
tunasema watu wa Baringo tushikilie Kenya Kwanza mumefurahia kuona ma DVD kwa group ya Kenya Kwanza na wetambo na na hasla mwenyewe god bless you haya kale pazitan Bas asante Baringo jambo Baringo hebu nione mkono juu Baringo Baringo Hatuna maneno mingi tumefurahi kufika hapa kutoka Wasingishu yale ningependa kusema ya kwanza Mheshimiwa Msalia Mudavadi Mheshimiwa Moses Wetangula we do not take the, for granted the sacrifice you have made and the risk you have taken to join the Hasla Nation Jambo la pili na la mwisho tunakuomba Mheshimiwa Naibu wa Rais Ukiwa rais hakikisha KRA wafanye kazi yao wasifanye siasa. Hakikisha DCI wafanye kazi yao wasifanye siasa. Hakikisha NCIC wafanye kazi yao wasifanye siasa. Tunataka kusema mwisho ya mahangaiko imekaribia. Ile kuangaisha ichungwa ameangaishwa, kashagwa ameangaishwa, Dwala amevutwa kazi, Murko mena kavutwa, Susan Kiika kavutwa, nikatolewa kama SG. Mwisho wa hiyo maneno ni tarehe tisa mwaka huu. Mwaka gani? Asante sana. Asante sana Kozitan, rafiki yangu ngeno. Arambe! Arambe! Watu wa Baringo muko? Naona mumejaza hapa muko za sawa. Serikali tunayo ama tuna? Hazo lako nani ama yuko? Mudavadi yako nani ama yuko? Weta yako nani ama yuko? Kindiki yako nani ama yuko? Kashagwa yako nani ama yuko? Na nyinyi wote ya Baringo muko ndani ama yuko? Na huyu seneta yenu ako wapi? Huyu seneta wenu? Ati mulituma ee ende ODM Ati mulituma ee ende azimio Ambia chie mani ya kanu Sisi watu ya barigo tumesema akwende Akwende azimio wapi Azandeni sana mungu wa barigo Hasalaso wa Baringo asalamu alaikum Hasalaso wa Baringo hamjambo Sasa nataka niwaulize kitu na nataka nikiwauliza mnasema kwa nguvu mpaka yule anakula sose juko kwa kitanda yake asikie sawa Rais wenu wa tano ni nani Rais wenu wa tano ni nani Santeni sana kwa majira naitwa Falhada Iman mimi ni seneta mteule kutoka Garissa mnajua Garissa wa Garissa ni wafugaji kama nyinyi mimi naamini his excellency William Samoi Ruto aliposema bottom up watu wengi walisema huyu jamaa anaongea lugha yetu si ndio kuna wale walikasirika lakini ya makasiri kwa itawapeleka mahali lakini watu wa Baringo nataka ni waombe mchagua jembe si mkulima si ndio hamchagui mtu mwingine ila nani niwaulize mkona kura mtampigia nani asanteni haya chelula inakuru eh hey, wana Baringo habari zenu arambe Ara Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza Hey, hey watu ya Baringo ni nyinyi Asanteni sana kwa kufika hapa kukaribisha wageni wetu jameni Nimetoka na kuru na amewasalimia na wako ndani 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 Ati bambo ni bottom Ati ni bottom Wacha niona ni bottom 
Asante sana Mungu awabariki. Haya haya haya. Haya. Aaron Jeriot. Jina langu ni Liza Chelule Mama County ya Nakuru. Asante sana. Aaron Aaron. Kabarnet hoye. Kabarnet hoye. Kabarnet hoye. Round hii tumewapata tujawapata. Tumewashika tujawashika. Unajua miaka mingi kuna wakora tumekuwa tukitafuta. Lakini kwa bahati mbaya ile timu wanaenda inapata pia kuna mahasla wako huku. Lakini siasa ya Kenya imejipanga vizuri sana raundi hii. Sisi watu wa bottom tuko hapa. Wanyanyasaji wale wametuumiza wote wako kuzimia. Tumewashika tujawashika. Si tutawakamatia chini. Si tutawakamatia chini. Sisi watu wafuliza Mshwari, Tala, Branch. Mashida yote ya dunia tunapatania hapa. Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi. Na nataka kutuma hao viongozi wetu ambao wako hapa. Hiyo meza ambaye chakula ya Kenya iko lazima tutoshie sisi wote. Haiwezekani ati nyinyi mnakula na sisi tunaangalia tu na macho. Tumechoka kuangalia. Tumechoka tujachoka. Sasa mimi nataka nitume hasla, nitume ma DVD, nitume weta, niwaambie kwa meza ya Kenya watengeneze nafasi ya hustlers. Naye nyinyi hustlers nataka niwapatie siri. Ingia chini ya hiyo meza na mfanye nini? Muingie chini ya meza na mfanye nini? Tarehe tisa wakitunyima tunaamka na meza chakula yote inaenda wapi? Tukule wote, si ndio? Baka sisi wote tukule. Wangapi wako na kura? Unajua tunaambiwa ati ati tunaongelesha watu waona kura. Kwa hivyo kila mtu wako na kura. Tafadhali kabane tusimame kipamoja ili hawa wanyanyasaji wametuumiza miaka yote tuwapeleke nyumbani Kenya iweze kukombolewa na Hasla Nation. Sawa sawa. Asanteni na Mungu awabariki sana. Thank you very much. Rafiki yangu bwana Kimani Njungwa. Kabarnet hoi. Muko chonjo. Mmejipanga ama mnangoja kupangwa? Mmejipanga na wazi. Ama mmejipanga na hii timu ya Kenya Kwanza? Kenya Kwanza. Na William Ruto. Na Musali ya Mudavadi. Na Manueta na Aden Duale yes. na Kindiki yes. na Mudhama yes. na hii jeshi yote yes. sasa nasikia wale wengine ati wamejipanga na ile mzee wa kufunga nyororo kwa shingo ati pande nyingine wamejipanga na yule mlaguzi wa madawa ya kulevia kutoka Mombasa na nataka niambie hiyo mlaguzi wa madawa ya kulevia William Ruto sio rika yako na William Ruto sio mlaguzi wa madawa ya kulevia. Na hatumii madawa. Wewe jipe shughuli na wale unauzia madawa kwa hiyo timu yenu. La pili nataka tu niwaulize swali. Nyinyi mulipiga kura 2013 na 2017 kwa wingi to the man to Uhuru Kenyatta na William Ruto sababu ya kuwapenda na kujua walikuwa na ajenda ya Kenya. Uhuru Kenyatta ashawaikuja hapa after 2017 kusema asante. Amekuja kuambia watu wa Kabarnet asante. Na sasa inakuwaje Uhuru Kenyatta kama rais anafikiria kwa ndoto yake ati atakuja kuwashurutisha na chief na polisi kupigia yule project yake mtu ya kitendawili kura mtashurutishwa mimi nataka niwaambie tangu 2017 huyo mtu ya kitendawili ashawahi kanyanga hapa ashawahi kanyanga kabarnet hata baringo anaijua ati sasa anasema atakuja kuwapanga sababu wako na deep state Tunataka tuambie deep state na system ni hawa raia wa Baringo County. La mwisho. Sisi huko Kiambu, ati wapi? Kiambu. Na Nyeri, wapi? 
na Muranga na Kirinyaga na Nyandarwa na Kuru Laikipia Meru Embu Tharaka Nithi tumeamua kura yetu ya rais ni ya William Samoei Ruto na hakuna mtu hata uhuru Kenyatta kama rais tunamheshimu lakini hata turutisha watu wa mlima Kenya kupigia huyo mtu wake kura tumemwambia tunaheshimu kura yake moja yeye apigie huyo mtu yake lakini asijaribu asidhubutu kushurutisha wa Kenya na mwisho kabisa nataka nimuulize rais huru Kenyatta kama yeye alikosana na huyu William Ruto sababu ni zake za kukosana na William Ruto jamii ya wakikuyu haijakosana na William Ruto jamii ya wakikuyu inampenda William Ruto wewe kama umekosana na William Ruto William Ruto ni mtu anayependwa na wakenya William Ruto ni mtu wa Kenya wamejichagulia na hata kama umekosana na William Ruto hii jamii ya Baringo jamii ya wakale njin walikufanya nini uhuru Kenyatta ukawachukia watu walikupigia kura kwa upendo to the man Please Mr President don't balkanize us along ethnic lines we are tired tumechoka 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 we are tired of being balkanized along ethnic lines and using our ethnicities so that you may continue to enslave us enslave our children you enslaved our forefathers you enslaved our fathers you have enslaved us you have finished our economy we will not allow you using your project to enslave our children hatutakubali semeni tumechoka tumechoka nikirudi kiambu nimesema mmechoka mmechoka kutumiwa kugawa kwa misingi ya ukabila hebu nione kura ya Kenya kwanza mwenye anafuata ni mheshimiwa ana women rep wa Garissa wakazi wa Baringo hamjamboni vijana faya vijana faya mimi naitwa ana Mohamed women rep wa Garissa county Mupokea salamu kutoka Northeastern. Mupokea salamu kutoka Northeastern. Asanteni sana. Leo sijakuja kuomba kura ya William Ruto. Kwa sababu ninajua hapa Baringo kura itanyesha, si ndivyo? Ila tu nimekuja kushukuru kina wetangu la mheshimiwa Mudavadi kwa kushikana na kijana yetu na unajua kwa nini ninasema hivyo William Ruto ni mfugaji mwenzangu si ndivyo mimi ni mfugaji so nashukuru hao wanaume wawili kwa kushikana na mfugaji mwenzetu ya pili kuna huyu mama wengine watanisamehe kuna huyu mama anaitwa Chematia ni rafiki wa kila mtu uko bunge anapendwa na kila mtu ni mama ambaye amesimama na William Ruto Shematia ni mama amesimama na William Ruto mnakumbuka inua mama tulikuwa tunatembea na yeye 27 28 counties tukiwa tunauza sera ya William Samoe Arap Ruto hivi sasa naomba nyinyi mupatie kura chematia ni mama wa nguvu 
ni simba wa siasa ninawaomba tarehe 9 mwezi wa 8 mupatie huyu mama kura asanteni sana na Mungu awash Mwenye anafuata ni gavana wa Wasingishu Mandago Eh hey, Baringo amjambo Watu wa Baringo Sijawahi kuja mkutano kabarini nikaona watu wengi kama nyinyi Yaani nyinyi watu ya Baringo mumeamua Serikali inaundwa na Kenya kwanza Watu ya Baringo Sisi tunawaomba viti vyote Hapa Baringo hii ikuwe ndani ya Kenya kwanza Sawa sawa. Ya pili tunataka kuambia wale wapinzani wetu. Kwanza kuna watu wengine hawafai hata kuongea juu ya William Ruto ama Musali ya Mudavadi ama Wetangula, watu kama kina Junet, watu kama kina Joe, hawa ni kinyangarika wanatoshana na Mandago. Nikuje ni wanyoroshe. Ananolene Ati sasa unasikia mtu wako na tumbo kubwa nyororo kama ya umbwa. Nikikutana na huyo mzee, nitamfungia kwa boss kama ile chui, kama ile simba, chiwawa. Na wabalage? Na haimu utikurga? Anane? Ya pili. Serikali ambaye inaundwa watu ya Baringo, ni serikali itaweka maji Baringo hii. Na mimi nataka kutangazia wale wengine bado wanazunguka kwa azimio. Kwanza nasikia kuna mtu mwingine anasimamisha lami ya Karandi huko, ati ndio akuja atengeneze na anachelewa nayo. Tunataka kuambia seneta Baringo, lami inatengenezwa huko ni ya raia, pana ya William Ruto. Awache kuambia contractor azembe. Contractor afanye kazi, watu wa Baringo wapate barabara. Ama watu wa Baringo mnasema namna gani? Si namna hiyo ya mwisho. Nyinyi mnajua mimi ni governor wa tamu ya pili. Sawa sawa. Mimi nataka kuambia rafiki yangu mheshimiwa rais, kama unaondoka kwa kiti, waacha kutafuta watu wa kutafutia kiti. Kila mtu ajitafutie kiti yake. Ama namna gani? Hawa mabroka wote wa siasa tuko na watu wanaomba viti ya urais, wajipange kwa nyuma ya mtu mmoja mmoja. Ama namna gani? Nataka kuambia mheshimiwa rais rafiki yangu mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta Ukitaka kuritaya na heshima kama mzee Mwai Kibaki kama mzee marehemu Moi waachana na maneno ya kusema tupigie fulani kiti sisi tumeamua kama wa Kenya rais wa tano wa Jamhuri ya Kenya ni William Samoei Ruto anane koge u anandomge u kimi yudie kiuwera kutko mangetu kamnangi Una dana maunon omiga bayanga baringo governor go ya UDA ang senator ang bunge ang women rep ang gemsie yani UDA go ready kipendi banda yenge kituti go ko mangeti giti jebo jeb ne smotol ngoro ani anane agongo ji akbusurek amokwa na le mi bandit dagi mago mi Kogi itaye gasi uru 2017 na kogi 2022. Ara amu not, akogi yan jeso, akogi toko mi mwaitap ngurwet, kibore busurek. Kwa ara rangoro ane ananole ne biwa baringo. Ara ambe. Ni onyeshe kwa mkono, mkono, mkono asante ni sana watu ya baringo. Mwenye anafuata. Mwenye nafuata ni kimani kutoka bahati. Hey! Alambe! Alambe! Mimi nataka kusema neno moja. Nimekuwa na nyinyi hapa ndio sana, si ndio? Your Excellency, kama kuna watu wanakupenda, ni watu ya Baringo. Watu ya Baringo wanakupenda kabisa. Wakisikia umetajwa, wanatokea barabara. Sina mna hiyo? Yes. Na mimi nataka kusema hivi. Yes. Nyinyi wafugaji? Yes. Unavuka ngombe? Yes. Wangapi wanavuka ngombe? Mkono juu. Yes. Sasa mimi nataka kuuliza nyinyi swali. Sasa ngombe ikisaa ndama yes. itarudi upee hiyo ndama hiyo ndume tena. Yes. Si unapandisha mbegu? 
Basi badilisha mbegu na ruto. Badilisha mbegu. Si namna hiyo. Hapana weka hiyo mbegu kwa mbegu ingi. Kwa mbegu ingine. Rais wangu Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. I want to talk with you. Mimi nataka kukuambia hivi. Ruto na watu ya Left Valley walikusaidia kuweka weka wakiti. Na sisi tunasema sisi wakikuyu wa Left Valley usikie mzuri. Tuko na Ruto mpaka mwisho na tutoki hapo. Tumesikizana hiyo? Tuko wapi? Tukae na kabila zote. Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. Niliona jana ukimbisha wimbo uko state ya uzikuwa kwa ya master hata yote yawezekana bila ruto hiyo wimbo ukifanya tuanze kuimba pandi hii hii ji itawaka moto usiakise inji moto kwa sababu si tunajua yote yawezekana tukiwa na ruto tukiwa na madvd tukiwa na weta ama sina mna hiyo wangabu anasama na mna hiyo ya mwisho mimi nikiwa kamati ya mashamba Kamati ya nini? Tulipitisha mchongoi waweze kupoa title deed zao. Na mpaka saa hii haijafanyika. Lazima tujue huyu seneta wenyu. Huyu seneta wenyu anawatetea? Anawatetea? Si mnaumia hapa? Mnaumia? Hapa iko vita. Amewatetea? Amewatetea? Basi tuseme hivi, tuseme hivi eh? Ge wakaji ni wanasemaga gevene kothie gevene nini gevene kothie basi kuna za mtu kumbwa yetu iku wapi mukono jua kuna zetu asani zana mungu wabaliki onesmas onesmas murko men murko men murko men murko men Baringo hoy Baringo hoy Baringo hoy Bwana usifiwe Salimiane watu wa Baringo namna hii Baringo Baringo yetu Asante sana Eh Eh Ai asante sana Ai asante sana Ile muda wangu kama seneta wenu <laughs> Imebaki imebaki hiyo kazi ya mwezi sita. Alafu mnichagulia mtu mwingine anisaidie kutoka hapo. Kwa hivyo mimi nimefurahi sana kukuja hapa. Tangu niingie siasa sijaona watu wamejaa uwanja kiasi hii. Mimi nimewafulia kofi ya watu wa Baringo 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 Baringo. Na mnajua ninawapenda sana. Ninapenda kazi yenye mnafanya. Na ile siasa ama cha moyo wa biga baringo. Okay, ile siasa ni wao kwa support na wako chini William Ruto. Kwa ni gikone cha checks ugumu yani ke ku strong hang na robi ko biga college. Mami te borori eta ka ne chama William ko sir biga baringo ini. En college msima tukul ondo ya kwa biga baringo. Ama cha ole cha kongoi. Kicha mok akole ino waka sante sana Number two Ama cha mwai waka wale Kike tau safari Kima cha ke akikisha Nkele William Ruto kwe president Nebo Kenya Kima cha ke somo Kisa uti kwa kwa so iwechi Ake somo kele chitukul Kima cha kotinya karik cha chiche Kibandok Ako registan ke kwe kvota Sike brichi ntukul William Ruto Ke hika kenga biga baringo ini Kaya kenga bika Rift Valley. Kimi ba moja? Wakati sahihi kwa mbwa William Ruto. Kime da inaenda kwa president na Kenya. Kime da kwa somin deputy president. Minga lekje chang chemi baringo ini. Lakini a kenga ni mje kwa somin tore tete kwa tete baringo sika upanga lega upka liet mago mita bora liet ingu baringo ini. Sisi na ibu wa rais tunasema hivi. Sisi watu wa baringo hi. Watu wa elgeyo mara kwet. Watu wa West Pokot, watu wa Samburu, watu wa Laikipia tumeumia sana na mambo ya insecurity. Tunataka ya kwamba katika urais wako tujengee sisi hapa Kerio Valley ili tumalize uasama ya wizi wa ngombe na kuua wananchi wetu. Sisi tunataka kukaa kwa amani, tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba Kerio Valley hii imekuwa the valley of development, the valley of peace. 
Number two, mimi najua William Ruto nilijua uhuru Kenyatta kutoka wewe. Mimi sikuwa najuana na uhuru Kenyatta. Hata siku ile aliniambia aliniambia nichakue mambo mbili. Either ni wachane na William Ruto ama nika nitoke katika kazi ya majority leader. Nikamwambia majority leader ikwende kwa sababu mimi najua William Ruto. So mimi wewe ndio ulituletea huyu uhuru Kenyatta hapa. Sisi tuko na swali na wewe wewe naibu wa rais. Wakati ulikuwa unatuletea hii mtu mpaka tukapikia kura mzima. We ulikuwa unajua atakuwa mtepeli namna hii? Eh? Wewe ulituambia hii ni mtu mzuri, sura yake ni mzuri, anapenda watu, ana ukabila, tukapikia kura. Naibu wa Rais amesema hako anajua. Hata sasa yeye unajua, unajua huyo uhuru wakati alikuwa anakuja kuomba kura, alikuwa amenyenyekea sana. Ni kama jamaa, ni kama jamaa anatafuta dem. Unaanza kusema oh Atu unaona hata ile ngombe imekaa hapo hiyo ni yangu. Atu unaona hata wakati mimi nitaanza kuseeka seeka nitakupatia milima hiyo. Sasa sisi wote tukampikia kura hatukuwa na ubaya. Tukapika sisi watu wa sehemu hii yote. Sasa wewe rais uhuru nataka kuuliza wewe swali moja. Kitu moja tu. Hii maneno unasunguka unasema ati huyu Raila ataendeleza development yenye wewe ulianza na William Ruto. Wakati tuliandika manifesto ya Jubilee 2013 kitenda wili alikuwa na manifesto yake. Wakati tuliandika manifesto ya Jubilee 2017 kitenda wili alikuwa na manifesto yake. Who are you lying to utuambie atu kitenda wili atakuja kumaliza kazi yenye William Ruto alianza. Kama wewe ulitaka kitenda wili afanye hiyo kazi, sungeacha na yeye 2013. Sungekuwa deputy president ya Raila 2013. Ama ungeomba yeye akusaidie kuwa naibu wa rais ama namna gani? Yeah. Number two, mheshimiwa rais, tulipokupikia kura tulijua wewe unatoka Mount Kenya. Na hatu tulikupikia tukisema tumewachana na ukabila, tunataka Kenya yenye kuna umoja hakuna ukabila. Sasa siku hizi wewe unasunguka tu huko Nyanza, huko Mombasa, ni kwa nini wewe ukujange hapa Kabarnet? Na wewe ukuje hapa Eldoret? Na kwa nini ukuje hapa Elgeo Marakwet? Kwani hakuna development hapa yeye wewe unakuja kufungua kwa sehemu hii? We want to tell President Uru Kenyatta instead of saying you are going to one corner of the country to discuss your deputy, come back to Kabarnet where we blessed all of you. Kuja usemee hiyo maneno hapa. Ukweli ama sio ukweli? Ya mwisho tunasema namna hii. Sisi kama wa Kenya kutoka bonde la Ufa Tunajua kuna njama ya kupikanisha jamii ya kupinanisha ma communities ati ndio kwamba wapate nafasi ya kupenyea kutafuta mambo ya ukabila kwa elections ya 2018, 2022 sisi watu wa Rift Valley tumesema no never again shall any Kenyan shed blood because of politics or politician and we want to tell president Uru Kenyatta please Make sure that your government does not bring violence because your project is not viable. Wangapi wanasema kwa hapa watu wote wakae kwa amani? Kwa amani, kwa amani, kwa amani. Wangapi watapikia kura Kenya kwanza? Wangapi wanakaribisha Tangula? Wangapi wanakaribisha Mudavadi? Asante sana watu wa Baringo. Ule mzee wetu, ule 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 kijana yetu. Eh? Gideon Moi na baka. Eh na kia tarat kia tarat engazi ameja ke leji ameja ke leji wakaso kidogo ameja ke leji Gideon Gideon moi eh na babaringo central kimeja ke leji matiwe nafas ichengate ngaleka oka kale chenge kalonzo maja ko mutiraila kale ki kwe kinenda chito ne maja siko mutoti bi ipko ipchi kama staga maja ke leji mutena ki weka ka ke wanj ke ke tirchara bruto alabu yun 2022 kerari na murgo mena nana ye asante sana na mungu abariki basi mwenye anafuata ni aden dwale bas watu wa kabarneta mjambo Chamge 
Waamune. Asalamu alaykum. Naona leo mmejaa kabarnet. Sijawahi kuona umati wa watu kama leo. Si mko tayari? Hebu tusalamiane kwa hewa. Si mimi najua ni rafiki wa huyo hasla. Kwa miaka mingi. Si lazima tusukume paka ingie state house. Wangapi wanasema hasla ingie state house? Wangapi wanasema hasla aungane na Musali ya Mudavadi? Wangapi wanasema hasla aungane na Weta? Wangapi wanasema aungane na Kindiki na Gashagua? Bas. Mimi nataka tu niseme watu wa bonde la Ufa. Mimi nitawaomba kwanza na wengine wa Kenya wazima tuweke amani, tuwe na uchaguzi wa amani. Kwa sababu wale tunashindana na hao miaka inne walijaribu kila mbindu walisema William Ruto hatafika 2022 alifika hakufika ako hapa hayuko hapa wakasema William Ruto na marafiki zake lazima tuwaondoe serikali Tuko hai ya tuko hai. Tulikufa ama tuko hai. Niwaambie wala tunashindana na hawa. Hasa rafiki yangu Uhuru Kinyata. Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kinyata, wacha kuwaita viongozi state house na kuwapatia pesa ndogo sana. Wacha kuwaita vijana wa Kenya elfu tatu baada ya miaka nane unawapatia elfu nane wale vijana vijana wa Kenya mheshimiwa rais wanahitaji ajira huku wapatia ajira uache William Ruto na Musali na wetawa wapatia ajira serikali ijayo mheshimiwa rais wacha kujificha na kusema ya kwamba ati wewe utaambia watu yale William Ruto amefanya Mr President we dare you to spill the beans we are going to pour the beans we know a lot some of us who worked with you wewe jaribu we dare you to spill the beans on William Ruto We shall spill the beans on your leadership the last nine years. Mambia rais asitishe sisi. Na sisi hatuna shida na rais Uhuru Kenyatta. Ni kiongozi wetu. Na tulimchagua mara tatu. Na wengine wetu tulimfanyia kazi usiku na mchana. Tunakuheshimu lakini huwezi kutulazimisha na kutuchagulia kiongozi ambaye atakuja baada yako and you don't need to go in full circle oh the unity of kenya mr president you are the one who's establishing regional and political parties dividing the people of kenya into parties na hapa natuambia unataka kuacha inchi ambayo watu wameungana. Mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Baringo. Mkiwa na Chief Hasla na sisi wote na DVD na Wetangula. We want to assure the people of Kenya we will address the unemployment of the youth of our people of our country. Under our leadership we will address the plight of the small businesses under our leadership we will deal with the debt crisis that the country is facing under our leadership by the chief hasla we will deal with the insecurity in the north rift under our leadership we will make sure each and every kenyan get a free nhif card 
and can be treated anywhere. And we have an agenda. Like in our competitors, they want the perpetuation and the continuation of corruption, of debt crisis, of unemployment, and protecting the wealth of the very few. Our country has been captured. There is a state capture. There is a capture of the economy. There is a capture of the legislature. Na tunamambia mweshima uhuru kinyata. Tunakuweshimu lakina tukogopi. Eh. Kuna tafauti ya heshima na uoga, sinio? Mr. President, we respect you. But we don't fear you. And we will go to the people of Kenya. Jana ni mesikia raisi. Amesema hizi viyama ni meunda. Hazifai. What a dishonest leader. Amemambia hui wa li kinyanjui wa nakuru wachana na hiyo chama. Amemambia hule ukur wachana na upia. Sasa ndiyo amejua umuhimu ya chama cha kitaifa. Kenya should be united behind a national party. Na nilisikia joho. Nataka ni mwambia joho. Wewe mutu ya D in us. Wewe mutu ya D in us. Wewe wachana na William Ruto. Wewe pambana na sisi. Kwanza harika yako ni kimani ichungua. Ndiyo atadili na wewe. Kimani are you ready? Kimani ichungua can deal with the D in us. Ya mwisho. And I want to ask our leaders here. I want to ask our leaders here as we move forward that they must address and Musalia Mudavadi is an expert of the economy. As we stand here today, Bado Serekali inachukua madeni kutoka Shina. And we want to ask Musalia to tell the country tomorrow and call a press conference that the Minister for Finance, Ukuri Yatani, has violated the Constitution, Article 206, and the PFM Act by overstepping the ceiling of 9 trillion given by the National Assembly. And today, they have borrowed 12 trillion, a violation of the law. We must put to task. Iyo madeni wanachukua. Iyo pesa wameweka kwa supplementary. Iyo pesa wameweka kwa budget. Tunajua ni pesa ya wizi kwa vile wanajua wanaondoka baada ya mezi sita. Watu wa baringo tu kwa pamoja. Mutachagua hasla. Mutamchagua musalia. Na weta. Muna kubali mungano yetu. Wangabi watampigia kura hasla. Wangabi watampigia kura Gideon Moy. Ah, Gideon sinikijana wenu. Muna mpigia kura. Wangabi watampigia kura kitandawili. Na Raila. Na Uhuru. Ya mwisho. Ni aibu kubwa sana. Ni aibu kubwa sana na mweshimua Deputy President Mina Kuomba. Ukikuwa rais. Please do not demean and humiliate your deputy. Sisi tunona state house. Watu wa kiimba. Yote ya wezekana bila ruto na raisi anacheka anafurai. Sisi tunaona kwa mkutano ya raisi na mawaziri mutu wa nyororo na wengine wanatukua na familia ya deputy president. Lakini hatu kuona hii jana tuliona bomas wakati wa BBI. We are telling the deputy president be a man of humility. Be a man of peace. But President Uhuru Kinyata 
will go in history as a president who demeaned and humiliated his deputy under the 2010 constitution. Watu wabaringo asateni, mungu wabariki. Mwenye anafuata ni rikathi kashakwa. Barigu hamjambu. Hamjambu tena. Muli yega. Muli yega ligi. Muko sawa. Harambe Asante mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Unajua mimi na Chicago Friday Wala niweka Saturday na Sunday Sasa Friday nilijificha wasinishike nikosa kufika hapa Na sasa nimefika hapa kwa sababu nyinyi ni watu ya nguvu Na kama kuna watu katika Rift Valley ambaye ni watu ya William Ruto ni watu ya Baringo Na mimi natolea nyinyi kofia watu ya baringo. Na sisi tuketaka kuambia nyinyi kitu kimoja. Uchaguzi wa William Ruto apana wenu ni wetu. Sisi watu ya Mount Kenya. Sisi tumekaa chini. Zile shida tumepata kwa miaka kumi. Tumetafuta kiongozi ambaye atatutegenezea uchumi atuweke pesa kwa mfuko. Na baada ya kuangalia tumepima tumepima tumesema candidate wa kiti cha president wa Mount Kenya region ni William Samoe Ruto. Kwa hivyo mimi nimekuja hapa kwa sababu sisi tuko na kura pale milioni saba. Kumuomba kwa heshima ni kinyenyekea watu ya Baringo. Mtusaidie mtuongeze kura zenu, tuingize mtu wetu kwa ikulu. Mtatusaidia? Mtatusaidia? Na mimi nataka niwaambie nyinyi kama president wetu ako na shida na William Ruto hiyo ni mambo ya watu binafsi ni kama mtu akikosana na bibi yake haihuzu wewe na, tumu, na tumemwambia president mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa pia wake 2001 akanijulisha huyu William Ruto akaniambia ni mtu mzuri tufanye kazi na yeye Na vile aliniambia William Ruto ni mtu mzuri na yamana nikaona ni kweli he was right. Tukakaa na William Ruto miaka hii yote. 2012 akitafuta William Ruto akakuwa William Ruto nasema iko shida watu ya bonde la ufa kukubali wewe akanituma mimi mwenyewe kama rafiki kuongelesha William Ruto. Nikamuongelesha akaongeleshwa na wengine mpaka akakubali. Mr President Wewe kama uko na problem na William Ruto haihusu mimi kama regadi kwa shagwa kwa sababu mimi ni mtu mzima. Na mimi pia niko na kwangu. Na niko na bibi na watoto. Na mimi mwenyewe naweza kujiamulia. Wale watu ya Mlima Kenya they have no problem at all with William Ruto. Kwa sababu hao wanatafuta mfanyikazi. Wanatafuta kiongozi ako na maono. Kiongozi ako na bidii kiongozi ambaye atategeneza uchumi and therefore we are asking the president as our friend with due respect and humility support your man kitenda wili rais alikuja kwetu akatuambia raila ni mwenda wazimu tumejaribu kumuuliza alipelekwa hospitali gani ya pone hajatuambia labda nyinyi mnajua hiyo hospitali mnaijua labda hapa kabaraneti iko hospitali hiyo mtu aliletwa hapa so I said, Unasema, please, Mr. President, you respect us because we are above 18 and we have been to school. Na watu ambaye wamesoma pia uwabati ya eshi makidogo. Kwa sababu hata sisi tunaelewa mambubili ta, tatu. So, ningetaka kuwakikishia nyinyi. Kama kura ya William Ruto itapungua, labda hapa kwenu. Labda hapa. Kwetu itafurika kama mvua. Kwetu itafurika kwa mamvua. Na mukitaka kuona, tulikuwa na by election pala ladan. Tuka nyerosha jubili. Tuka kuwa na by election juja, tuka nyerosha jubili. Tuka kuwa na pala kiamba, tuka nyerosha jubili. Kwa hivyo tumeonesha nyinyi ya kwamba sisi tuko serious. Sisi tunataka kujua. Nyinyi muko serious? Hii senator yenu hii mtote ya moi. 
Waja ni kuambie Alienda kuahidi kura pale kwa mtu ya kitendawili Akaulizwa unakuja nini na nini kwa meza Akasema kura yote ya baringo ni talete Iko kura na yeza lete Iko kura na yeza lete Hakuna Kwa hivyo tukimuona tumuambia endelea kucheza mpira Akiwa juu ya farasi Aendelea kukaa juu ya farasi Mambo ya hapa hawezi elewa sindio Nikimalizia kuna pahali nilikosea nyinyi kidogo Iko hii msichana enyu anaitua jamati yako wapi Hii msichana Hii msichana Uyu msichana Iko siku nilikuwa nimepeana ya kule masaini Simulisikia Nilikuwa nimetaa kupeana ya masaini Kumbe ni kiongozi zikuwa na habari Uyu ni kiongozi Juzi Juzi wametumia ya polisi miatatu Na ukiona muzi natumia polisi miatatu ni kiongo Si uyu msichana naweza Kutatea watu ya baringo Na mimi nigetaa kuambia matiangi Hao polisi miatatu ulitumia jamatia Si utume hapa baringo Kupigana na wezi ya ngombe Wale Wale watu ya DCI Ulitumia mimi miamoja Kunishika Si ulete hapa baringo Wale ulitumia didi nyoro wa GSU Si ulete hapa baringo Wale GSU walikuwa na lida William Ruto ukatoa Si ulete hapa baringo Si alete hapa baringo Watu ya baringo tumesikizana Tuko pamoja Wape janiyone kule ya William Ruto Kule ya William Ruto Harambe Harambe Nikirudi nyari nisalimiane Sisi tuakua pale nyeri Tutakua na mkutano na naibu wa rais Tukiongea mambo ya uchumi Tunataka kueka mkataba na yeye Kura hatu tapeana tena bila mkataba Kwa sababu tulipea uru kenyata kura tumeumia Tunataka akuje tukae na yeye Tuzikizane mambo ya kahawa Mambo ya majani chai Mambo ya maziwa Mambo ya biashara Alavu tuweke mkataba hadharani Ya kwaba tukimchagua kama rais Ata tufanyia 1, 2, 3, 4 Ata nyinyi watu ya baringo Simulika na rais mawe miaka mingi Kuna kazi nifanyika Ata nyinyi tuge shauri nyinyi Ata kama huyu William Ruto ni hapa Mukae chini na hea mutakeneza mkataba Ya hile manoro atafanyia nyinyi Siyo hiko sawa sawa Mutakuja kutembea nyeri Mutakuja Haki Kabisa, mutakuja siku gani? Asante ni sana mungu wa barigi. Mwenye anafuata ni Profesa Kindiki. Aya, 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 baringo, oye. Nikisema rambi, mnasema Kenya Kwanza rambi. Kenya Kwanza. Aki. Kigure no kiture Arab Kindiki. Abunu Tarakanithi. Achami Jesu. Awendi kipsangwe tenkaya net. Asante sana. Mweshmua naibu wa rais. Mimi niko hapa. Tuko hapa kusindikisha viongozi wetu. Team ya Kenya Kwanza ni team kubwa. Team ya Kenya Kwanza ni team kubwa. Tunaongoswa na William Ruto, Musaria Mdavadi, Moses Wetangula, Eden Duale, Nigadi Gashagwa, Kipchumba Murkomen, Susan Kiheka. Tutaweza, atutaweza. Mimi nataka nionge maneno mawili kwa sababu ya masa. Ya kwanza, mimi naongea na watu wa azimio na utapeli. Nyinyi watapeli. Kwa miaka mitano, mimeoanda watu wa Kenya. Mume tupotezea muda. Mume sorotesha uchumi. Mume tumia miaka mitano kudaganya huru kenyata. Kupigana na naibu wake. Mimi sijao na rais wa wote papote duniani. Anapigana na naibu wake. Isitoshe, rais wetu akadanganywa. Wale watu wote walimsaidia. Aka watupilia mbali Alitapeli William Ruto 
akatapeli hata ndwale akatapeli kidure kindiki akatapeli kimchumba murkomen akatapeli Susan Kihika na wale wengine wote vile vile akashikana na adui wake mkubwa Raila Odinga ambaye alitupeleka mpaka ICC naye Odinga akatapeli Musali Mdavadi akatapeli Weta hiyo ni azimio la matapeli ama si azimio la matapeli sina matapeli sina matapeli i want to announce to the azimio team the contest has been drawn and i had the president daring us to a political duel we want to tell huru kenyatta we want to tell raila odinga we are ready for a political contest we are ready for you muko tayari ama muko tayari muko tayari Muko tayari? Nikisema Asra mnasema State House. Asra! 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 Ya mwisho. Nataka vile vile niongee na wale wako na majukumu ya kulinda usalama katika nchi yetu. Mumetumia viongozi kuleta askari kusumbua viongozi. Lakini kuna hali ya ukosefu wa usalama hapa Baringo. Kuna ukosefu wa usalama kule Elgeo Marakwet. Kuna ukosefu wa usalama Samburu, Laikipia na this region. We want to ask the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Internal Security to deploy the police in this area, to deploy the security forces in this area to be able to restore peace na wawache kuchokoza viongozi. Polisi ni ya kulinda wananchi sio ya kuchokoza wananchi sio ya kuchokoza viongozi wao mwisho kabisa hapa nimeona juzi hata wameshindwa na sisi zote wamekuja kuchokoza huyo msisana jematia na nataka niwaambie hawajui wametengenezea jematia njia ya kuwa women rep ya Baringo kweli si kweli kweli si kweli alafu Nimeambiwa nisaiishe kitu hapa najua muda umeenda. Kuna kitu nasaisha. Ndugu yangu kiongozi wa wengi ya Dendwale. Mimi nakubaliana na wewe ya kwamba hao watu kina Joho na wale wengine sio rika ya William Ruto. Nataka niongezee sio rika ya Musali Mdavadi. Nataka niongezee sio rika ya Moses Masika Wetangula. Nataka niongezee sio rika ya Kemani Echungwa. Kemani Echungwa alienda akasomea Alliance High School. Sasa nimeambiwa nitangaze hivi kwa niaba ya team Kenya Kwanza. Rika ya Joho ni Oscar Sudi. Aya asante asante. Naenda kukaribisha wageni rasmi wa siku ya leo. Hebu tukaribisha naibu wa rais. Asante sana kura 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 asante sana. Kwa nafasi hiyo nzuri kwa sababu ya wakati. Niruhusu nikaribishe Moses. Wetangula. Weka hiyo maneno. Wabaringo hoye Munamujua huyu mungwana Yeye na mimi tulikaa desk moja shule ya friends kamsinga Na ni rafiki yangu sana Leo tumekuja hapa baringo Na nimeona mumetoka kweli kweli Tutaonana leo mundu Mundu Jambo langu la kwanza Sisi kama Kenya kwanza Tumeungana 
na deputy president Musalia Mudavadi Weta you as truly Baba wa Roma Rikadi Kachagwa Kindiki Dwale na Kenya Mzima Kwa nini? Kwa sababu tunataka kubadilisha maisha ya mkenya Tunataka kubadilisha mkondo wa siyasa Kwa muda murefu Tumekuwa na siyasa ya utapeli Siyasa ya matusi Na siyasa ya kukosa heshima Hiyo tunataka kuondoa katika inji yetu Tumewaangalia wale tunabishana nao Kila mahali wakienda Wanamutuzi ruto Wanamutuzi musalia Wanamutuzi weta Wanatuzi watu wa Kenya Hawana sera yoyote Sisi tumetembea Kenya mzima Tumekuwa Mombasa tumewambia tutawarekeshea bandari yao Tumekuwa kule Rift Valley ya juu Eldoret kule tumewambia ukulima lazima uboreshwe Tumekuwa ingo Tumesema ukulima wa miwa lazima uboreshwe Na leo tumekuja hapa Jambo la kusikitisha hapa ni ukosefu wa usalama Hii triangle ya ukosefu wa usalama Ya Baringo, Laikipia, Samburu, Trukana, West Pokot Na Elgeo Marakwet Sisi kama serikali ya wamu ya tano Serikali ya Kenya Kwanza Kwanza tutakikisha tunaleta usalamu wa kutosha by deploying security but that is a very short term measure lazima to tackle the root causes of this insecurity shida ya insecurity hapa ni marginalization na ukosefu wa development tutahakikisha mnapewa kipao mbele kama ni wakulima mutasaidiwa kama ni wakulima wa vugaji lazima wasaidiwe Kama ukosefu wa shule, lazima iweko. Kama ukosefu wa maji, lazima iweko. Kama ukosefu wa malisho ya ngombe, lazima tuakikishe tunatatua hiyo shida. We cannot allow parts of Kenya to live as if they are in a war situation. We cannot allow parts of Kenya where women cannot sleep, children cannot sleep, Men cannot sleep because they are worried about their neighbors coming to raid them. Iyo lazima tutakomesha. Na tukisha komesha iyo ndiyo munda weza ku exploit your full potential kama wa Kenya. Wale ambao ni wasomi, wale wafanyi biashara, wale wakimbiaji na kila kitu. Iyo lazima tuakikishe because we know. Insecurity for one Kenyan is insecurity for all Kenyans. Na tutahakikisha ya kwamba hiyo itakuwa jambo la historia ya Kenya. Ndiyo tunamuambia rafiki yetu Fred Matiangi. Tafadhali jaribu uingie hapa hapa baringo na neighboring counties. Uketi na serikali sa ugatuzi. Uketi na wanainji. You know the problem, the government, wakisikia mutu wa mewawa, wanatuma polisi, wanakuja na virungu, wanakuja na bunduki, wanafamia watu, hawaketi kuuliza ilianza na mnagani. This is what we must do. Jambo la pili, serikali yetu ya wami ya tano, itazingatia mambo ya afya ya mkenya wakawaida. Kila mkenya lazima apewe NHIF card. Kama familia au mutu binafsi Ilu ukiwa mugonjwa na familia yako Uweze kupata matibabu Jambo la tatu Ni mambo ya elimu Kila nikitembea Kenya mzima Watu wanauliza hii mambo ya CBC Iko na muna gani Wazazi hawaielewi Walimu hawaielewi Wanafuzi hawaielewi Lazima tutaipika musasa tuone kama inafaa wa Kenya Ama haifai wa Kenya Kama haifai tuibadilishe Muna kubaliana na hiyo? 
wangapi wana nasema lazima tuangalie hii mambo ya CBC kwa sababu tunataka mfumo wa elimu ambao hata hapa Kabranet hata mama Pima lazima apate ndoto yake ya mtoto wake kusoma mpaka awe daktari kupitia usaidizi wa serikali jambo langu la ine ndugu zetu wa Baringo nataka kuwaomba unajua huyo Ruto ni wenu nyinyi ndio mumemlea na anawinda kura Kenya mzima tukiwa pamoja kama kolabo kama team what we want to urge you musimfunge minyororo hapa your votes we can take for granted kwamba mkitoka asubuhi kura itaangukia Ruto 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 na timu yetu sawa sawa kwa hivyo mumupe idhini tusunguke Kenya mzima twende ingo twende turukana twende NFD twende kila mahali ikifika tarehe tisa huyo mzee wa kitendawili na majachari yake na utapeli wake na ukora wake ataona hana chake Kenya hii kwa sababu wa Kenya wanamjua wamemjaribu anataka kuingilia dirisha anataka kuingilia kwa pawa ya nyumba nataka mkipiga kura Mumalize hii kura round one. Musitupe nafasi ya kwenda kurudia au ikue bali too close to call, too close to call ndio mupe Raila nafasi ya kwenda street na mawe kuleta mambo ya tear gas, alafu baadaye aenda ajiapishe, alafu baadaye a demand handshake. Hiyo hatutaki. Hiyo mnataka. Kura ikuishe round one. Na hiyo kura itakuwa kwa Kenya kwanza. Nikisema chama nipe Kenya kwanza. UDA. Kenya kwanza. UDA. Kenya kwanza. Ford Kenya. Kenya kwanza. ANC. Kenya kwanza. Ni ya ya kwamba kura yenu ni ya hasla. Hebu nione mkono. Musipopiga nikija hapa tutaonana mundu. Mundu Asante sana sana Sasa ni wakati wangu wa kumwalika ndugu yangu Madvd Mundu Mnataka hiyo? Mnataka earthquake? Weka mkono juu. Haya kunja. Anza kutingiza. Earthquake. 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 Ai 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 ai. Hey, hey. Baringo. Mumeleta Asante sana. Leo Leo Baringo imefunja record haki. Hata hata ukiangusha mawe kutoka juu haitafika chini. Mambo ya ajabu, si ndio? Asante sana. Mimi nataka niongee kwa sababu tumeanza safari tulipoweka earthquake chama cha UDA chama cha Ford Kenya na chama cha ANC vile wanenaji wamesema hapa sisi sera za ANC ni kuinua uchumi 
tunasema uchumi bora pesa mfukoni wale wa Ford Kenya wanasema haki na usawa kwa mambo ya uchumi kwa kulima kwa ufugaji na upande huu UDA inasema inataka ianze kule mashinani ikileta juu inasemaje bottom up kwa hivyo tukaona ikiwa sera zetu zinashikana kwa kuinua hali ya wakenya tuatoe kwa hali ya ufukara kuatoe kwa hali duni ya kiuchumi hakuna haja ya sisi kutembea njia tofauti tukaamua tushikane tuunde Kenya kwanza na vile wetano wengine wamesema tunataka tushinde kwa raundi ya kwanza sema round 1 rudia round 1 round 1 round 1 tunataka tupate 70% plus 1 kwa sababu Kenya haina pesa za kurudia uchaguzi hatuna pesa za kulipa madawa hatuna pesa za kufanya increment ya mshahara kwa public officers hatuna pesa za kuhakikisha kuna walimu wa kutosha kwa hivyo hatuwezi kutumia pesa kidogo ambayo tuko nayo kurudia kwa uchaguzi wa pili hapana 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 lazima iwe round 1 ili pesa zitumie vizuri si namna hivyo kwa hivyo sisi tunataka tuambie wale na hiyo earthquake ilifanya maajabu Ruto alikuwa anangangana Musali anangangana Weta anangangana nikafika pahali nikasema tusidanganyane tukaleta hiyo kolabo tukasema hii kitu ambayo inaitwa azimio. Huu muradi ambao unaitwa azimio. Eh? Tunataka tujue mwenye hii muradi. Tukasema tunataka tujue. Tukaleta nini? Tukaleta nini? Sijuzi amejitokeza. Sasa amejitokeza. Yeye hata anasema kwamba hata akitoka kazi lazima iendelee na yeye bado ataendelea sasa sisi tunawauliza wa Kenya mnataka serikali ambayo iko hands on ama serikali ya remote control hands on serikali gani hands on ukiona huyu Ruto ni mtu wa remote control ukiona ma DVD ni mtu wa remote control Ukiona Gachagua ni mtu wa remote control. Ukiona Dwale ni mtu wa remote control. Na Weta na Makomen hapana. Sisi hatutaki serikali ambayo Uhuru anatuambia amestafu lakini ameshika remote control akiambia Raila enda left, Raila anafanya left. Akifinya button right, Raila anaenda right. Akisema jump, Raila anaruka. Akisema pause Raila na pause hapa na serikali kama hiyo Hatupangwingwi si ndio Hatupangwingwi eh Tunataka serikali ambayo iko sawa Na nimueleze Do you know Kenyans Dear Kenyans Do you know that for almost one year the Kenyan cabinet has not met karibu mwaka mmoja no formal cabinet meeting so how is the government functioning government is functioning simply by decrees and executive orders this is a very dangerous trend in any country and more so in a country where we should follow the constitution kwa hivyo tunasema we want a government that is hands on. Hiyo ndiyo serikali sisi tunataka. Na tumeungana. Tunataka tupambane na haya madeni mazito mazito. Na ndugu nawaambia ni mazito. Ni mazito. Tumeuliza mara nyingi sana. 
tunataka waziri wa fedha aje wazi ajitokeze kwa hiyo treasury aje mbele At, aambie wa Kenya ni kwa nini amevunja ceiling ya madeni katika Kenya from 9 trillion anakaribia 12 trillion na hajepata idhini ya bunge yeye yeah, ananyamaza tu yeye yeah, ananyamaza tu yeye yeah, ananyamaza tu but i want to tell you waziri wa fedha it is not possible for you kufunika haya itafika wakati haya madeni lazima yatatoka nje na yakitoka nje you will have a lot of explaining to do so you better come clean now rather than wait for later uje sasa ueleze sisi tunasema hivyo because we want a government that runs we want a government that can be believed in tunataka serikali ambayo inaleta confidence kwa wawekezaji wa rasilimali tunataka serikali ambayo inaleta confidence kwa raia wa Kenya tunataka serikali ambayo italeta confidence kwa wafanyabiashara tunataka wale wanafanya biashara na serikali walipe madeni yao contractors wengi wamefanya kazi na serikali hii hata kwa county governments na hawajelipwa na hiyo ni kuharibu ajira ya wa Kenya hatutaki hata fuliza umjelipa tunaelewana tutasimama kidete tutasimama pamoja tutwange hao watu kwa kura tuwanyoroshe kama earthquake Hey. La mwisho. La mwisho. Wasijaribu kusema wataiba kura. Unajua tulikuwa pahali tulikuwa pahali na na Moses wa Tangula. Na wengine. Hata Kalonza alikuwa hapo. Hata Gideon Moyo alikuwa hapo. Hata mimi nilikuwa hapo. Na mtu mmoja katika hii serikali akasema Nitoboa ama niwache? Nitoboa ama niwache? Nitoboa ama niwache? Akasema they have the capacity to create a backroom IBC if we can be together Munasikia hiyo They have the capacity to create a backroom IBC I want to say this We do not want any backroom IBC Kenyans must be given their due right constitutionally Their decision to vote for whoever they choose to vote for must be respected, must be honored and must be upheld so that Kenya can be stable and democracy can be our guide and our road as we go into the future. Hatutakubali. Na wakitusukuma sana if they push us further we shall name who said that thing. So today we just give you a warning a warning shot that don't attempt to create a backroom IBC let there be only one IBC the one that is provided for in the law and none other Mungu awabariki earthquake ndio hiyo hebu tingiza earthquake 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 Asante sana. Sasa ni wajibu wangu na furaha yangu na mimi nilete Chief Hasla.
Aya. Baringo hamjambo. Baringo hamjambo. Baringo bwana asifiwe. Baringo chamge. Uamune. Baringo bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh naona mkochonjo mbaya sana. Asalala. Mimi nimekuja Baringo mara nyingi. Lakini sijaona hii. Yaani Baringo kimeumana kiasi hii. Mumeamua. Mimi nawauliza. Si mnajua kuna majamaa kule Nairobi. Ati kwa maoteli makubwa makubwa. Na maofisi makubwa makubwa. Ati wanatuambia ati watatupanga. Ati watatupangia nani atakuwa rais wa Kenya. Ati watatutafutia kibaraka wao watupange na awe rais wa Kenya. Inawezekana? So nyinyi watu wa Baringo mnawaambiaje? Ati Baringo mnawaambiaje? Asalala Ama hiyo ngoma iendele Aya wewe DJ wapi ngoma Aya 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 So tunakubaliana watu wa Baringo ya kwamba hatuwezi kupangwa na mtu. Mimi nataka niwaulize ndugu zangu watu wa Baringo. Si mnaona Manueta yuko hapa? Si mnaona DVD yuko hapa? Tumekubaliana. Kwa sababu umoja wa Kenya ndio muhimu. Tuunganishe chama ya UDA, ANC na Ford Kenya. Nyinyi watu wa Baringo mnakubaliana na sisi jameni? Mnasema tuungane kama wa Kenya. Na tuwalete wa Kenya wengine waingiane pamoja na sisi. Hebu nione wala wanasema tuungane, 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 tuungane. Jambo la pili. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba muungano wetu huu sio muungano ili viongozi wapate faida ama vyeo ama mamlaka muungano wetu huu ni kwa sababu taifa letu la Kenya liko njia panda na ni lazima tufanye maamuzi na ni lazima tuwe na sera na mpango ambayo itabadilisha taifa letu la Kenya na sababu hiyo tumesema Mambo ya katiba na vyeo na mamlaka ya viongozi ingoje Kwa sababu maneno ya muhimu kwa taifa letu la Kenya sasa ni maneno ya uchumi na tunataka tupange ili mambo ya uchumi tuanze na ajira ya vijana wetu zaidi ya milioni ine wamemaliza shule lakini hawana ajira na wauliza watu wa Baringo. Nyinyi mnasema vile kitendawili ati mambo ni kubadilisha katiba, tuongeze vyeo, tuongeze mamlaka ya viongozi. Mnakubali mambo ni kubadilisha uchumi? Mnataka tubadilishe uchumi ama vyeo? Mnataka tubadilishe uchumi ama katiba? Mnasema tubadilishe uchumi? Ebu nione wala wanasema tubalishe uchumi, tubalishe uchumi. Jambo la pili. Nataka tukubaliane na nyinyi. Kwa sababu tumekubaliana tunataka tubadilishe uchumi. Tuko pamoja watu wa Baringo. Sisi tunasema ajenda yetu namba one ni kubadilisha uchumi na ajenda yetu namba one ni kupanga ajira ya vijana wetu wa Kenya. 
vijana wa paringo wapate ajira agenda yetu namba mbili ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunapanga biashara ili kila mkenya hata kama biashara yake ni kidogo asiumizwe na fuliza asiangaishwe na mashailok tuweke pesa ya serikali katika biashara ya wananchi wa chini agenda yetu ya ine ni kuweka pesa ya kutosha kwa kilimo ili tuhakikishe ya kwamba kila mkulima wa Kenya anapata nafasi ya kuongeza mapato yake kama ni ya maziwa, miwa, mambo ya kahawa, chai, kama ni sukari, kama ni mambo ya maziwa, kila mkulima aongeze mapato yake ndio awe na pesa mfukoni na tuwe na chakula ya kutosha tuondoe njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tunakubaliana? Jambo letu la nne tumesema kabla ya mwisho wa mwaka huu wananchi wengi wanapata shida kwa sababu ya bei na mambo ya malipo ya matibabu tumesema mwaka huu kabla ya disemba tutahakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya ako na bima ya afya ya NHIF na kila mmoja wetu utaenda hospitalini utatibiwa na utaenda nyumbani bila ya kuulizwa pesa yoyote tunaelewana wangwana wa baringo tunaelewana hapo ndio tuko mimi nawauliza watu wa baringo mtakubaliana na sisi tubadilishe uchumi jameni mnasema tupange uchumi ndio tupange ajira ya vijana wetu na tupange biashara yenu tuwaokoe kwa fuliza na mambo ya mashailo na tuwapangie kilimo tuondoe njaa na tuwapangie mambo ya universal health coverage kila mtu aende hospitali na alipiwe na NHIF tunakubaliana hapo ndio mimi niko na maswali mawili peke yake watu wa Baringo swali ya kwanza mnasema tubadilishe katiba ama uchumi katiba ama uchumi wale wa uchumi nione kwa mkono jambo la pili tumekuwa tukiendesha uchumi model inaitwa trickle down ati watu wachache wanafaidika kule juu alafu wakifaidika kwa huruma wakuja waangalie wengine huku chini hawa wa chini wamengojea miaka hamsini wale waliofaidika juu hawajarudi hapa chini mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa Baringo mnataka tuendelee kungojea ile ya juu ama mnasema tupindue tuanze na huko chini Tupindue tuanze na huku chini. Tupindue tuange tena huku chini. Hapa chini. Ndio tupange ajira ya hawa vijana kwanza. Na tupange kilimo kwanza. Na tupange matibabu kwanza. Mnasema tuanze chini. Hapa bottom. Alafu twende up. Bottom alafu. Bottom. 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 Hebu nione baringo wale wanasema bottom up bottom up. Bottom. Tumekubaliana. Mimi nataka niwaulize jambo la mwisho. Mimi nataka niwaambie hivi, nimesikia wale watu wa kuzimia wanajaribu ati kunipatia lecture kuhusu mambo ya naibu wa rais wa Kenya. Mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa kuzimia, please. Nyinyi watu ambao mlikuwa wa upinzani Hamuna ruhusa yoyote. Hamuna moral authority yoyote kunipatia lecture kuhusu kazi ya naibu wa rais wa Kenya. Hii serikali ya jubilee ni mpango kati ya Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta na mimi. Sisi ndio tulitafuta hii serikali ya jubilee sio nyinyi. You have no business giving me a lecture on a government that I formed with Uhuru Kenyatta. You are not there. You know nothing about this government. You know nothing about the agenda of this government. Tunaelewana? Hawa watu wa upinzani hawajui hii serikali na mpango yake ilianza vipi.
Kwa hivyo wawache kuniambia maneno kuhuzu serikali. Hawa ni watu wa upinzani. Nyinyi kama mulishindwa na upinzani. Mpaka mukakuja mukakuwa vibaraka. Mukakuwa ni watu mabroka. Ata mukakuwa wezi. Munaibia kule kemza ata watu ambao ni wagonjwa. Kwa sababu mulisahau kazi yenu ya upinzani. Saizi muna tupatia lekia ya serikali serikali muna jua ilitengenezwa lini na wapi. So watu wa upinzani please, you are a disgrace to the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya gave you a job to do in the opposition to keep government in check. Instead, you became lackeys, you became brokers, you became servants in, and in the administration and you went ahead to steal from the people of Kenya. Today you want to give me a lecture about the government of Kenya. I want to tell you the people of the opposition, the former opposition, shame on you. Kama munashindwa na upinzani. Mutawezano na serikali kweli? Hawa bangwana kama munashindwa na upinzani, ndio serikali ndio wataweza? Nyinyi mumeshinda kukriticize beke yake. Sasa kupanga mbaka ikue barabara ndio wataweza? So, na mimi nataka niwambie watu wa upinzani, please give us a break. You failed miserably as the opposition. You have no chance at all in being any form of government. Tunaelewana? And I want to tell them, the record of the Jubilee administration, William Ruto knows everything because I was part of it. Because I, I was in the midst and I was in the middle of it because I know what we were doing. And the only people who have the capacity to carry forward that which succeeded and that which made sense to Kenya is this Kenya Kwanzaa movement. You guys have no capacity whatsoever. You did not form the government. You also failed the opposition. So you are generally failures. Sijui kama tunaelewana jameni? Watu wabaringo tunaelewana? Wangwana wabaringo tunaelewana? Hebu nione wala wanasema tunaelewana? Mimi nataka ni waeleze watu wabaringo. Sisi tukisimama hapa kama Kenya kwanza. Sisi tunawaambia. Mambo hii tulikuwa na mpango kamili. Mpango ya Big Four ambayo ilikuwa ndani yake na mpango ya ajira ya vijana ndani yake mambo ya matibabu ndani yake mambo ya kilimo lakini hiyo mpango imecheleweshwa miaka tano kwa sababu wale ambao wangekuwa upinzani walikuja wakasambaratisha agenda yetu na wakalete rege na wakalete ukora na wakalete utapeli na wakokuja wakaanza wizi ndani ya serikali yetu kule Kemsa mimi nataka niwaambie we will not accept any further delay the year is 2022 the date is August 9th the people of Kenya are going to make a decision on how to go forward you have wasted enough of our time tunaelewana jameni watu wa Kenya si mtaamua 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 we know there are characters, there are people who want to hold this country hostage. They, they do not want us to have a plan on how young people can get jobs because they are used to servants. They are used to young people helping them in political meetings, helping them to do political brokerage, and helping them to do violence. We are telling them the young people of Kenya will be unavailable after 9th of August because we will plan for them what is meaningful for their lives. Watu wa Baringo tunaelewana? Baringo tunaelewana? Na mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa Baringo. Mimi nimekuwa naibu wa rais miaka tisa. I know what I am saying. Katika Kenya hii kuna njama ya kufanya vijana wetu wakose ajira ndio wawe rahisi kutumika katika mambo ambayo inawafaa watu wachache katika Kenya hii kuna njama 
ya kuweka wakenya wengi kwa umaskini ili watu wachache waendelee kunawiri na waendelee kukalia wakenya wengine kwa sababu watu wakiwa maskini ni rahisi kuwa manipulate and i want to tell them we are going to unchain ourselves on 9th of august and kenya is going to be a free country where every citizen and their business and their families will count for something tunaelewana ndugu zetu tunaelewana watu wa baringo tumekubaliana mimi nataka munionyeshe mkono ya kwamba tumekubaliana 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 sawa sawa mimi nataka nishukuru hawa viongozi nataka nimshukuru mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa mheshimiwa Dhure Kindiki hawa viongozi wa kutoka mkoa wa kati wamesimama kidete na wakenya wenzao kusema ya kwamba hawataki siasa ya ukabila hawataki siasa ya migawanyiko na leo tunasimama jukwaa moja pamoja na Musalia pamoja na Weta pamoja na Duale pamoja na wakenya wengine tukisema Kenya hii haiwezi kurudi nyuma tena mahali ya mambo ya vita na mahali ya mambo ya siasa duni ya ukabila na mahali ya migawanyiko and i want to speak specifically to the people of Baringo hii Kerio Valley mnanisikia hapa Kerio Valley tuko na changamoto ya ukosefu wa usalama ni kweli ama si kweli i want to announce from Kabarnet ya kwamba Kerio Valley tutatengeneza Marshall Plan ya Kerio Valley ambayo tutajenga dams hapa Radat tutaweka dam kule Lowat tutaweka dam kule Aror tutaweka dam kule Kimware tutaweka dam ili tuweze kuwa na ekari elfu hamsini ama elfu mia moja ya kuzalisha chakula hapa tuondoe umaskini ili vita iondoke katika Kerio Valley na mimi nataka niwahakikishie vile nilikuja hapa mbeleni na tukakomesha mambo ya mauaji na mambo ya vita mimi nataka niwaambie ya kwamba hiyo vita inaendelea pale kuna watu wanataka hii Kerio vale ibaki nyuma ili watu wakwame wakipigana na mambo ya umaskini na kuibiana ngombe we are going to stop that nonsense because we want to change the destiny of the people of Kerio Vale from Baringo, Elgeyo Marakwet, Turkana mpaka Samburu na watoto wao wasome kama watoto wengine wa taifa letu la Kenya. Watu wa Baringo tunaelewana. Baringo tunaelewana. Mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa. Na mimi nafurahi zaidi ya kwamba inadhihirika wazi ya kwamba Baringo mumeamua nimekuja hapa mara nyingi lakini sijaona mkutano mkubwa kama huu asanteni sana Baringo kwa kutuamini nikisema arambe tunasema Kenya kwanza arambe arambe nikisema Kenya kwanza tunasema kazi ni kazi Kenya kwanza Kenya kwanza mimi niko na viongozi wengi hapa na sitaki niondoke hapa kabla sija